What's up everybody? It's me, Johnny. Today I'm here to show my latest and greatest finds. I do this about once a month. So I have some CDs and I have just a little bit of vinyl. I have more CDs than anything, so I'm going to show those first. And just to let you know, I have some new Elvis finds, but I'm going to do it on a separate video. Because I want to talk about a couple of things. Now it's going to be a pretty long one. Talking about what's coming up and all that. So stay tuned for that. So let me just get started. I'm going to show the CDs first. First thing I want to show is something Prince related. Um, this is her, another album. I found her one of her other CDs on one of my recent finds. I think I found her second one. Candy Dulfer. Prince affiliated. She played with Prince in the early 2000s, part of the MPG. So, she has good stuff. I like her stuff. It's good. I got two Michael Jackson things. I got Michael Jackson and then his sister Janet. I've been wanting this box set from Michael Jackson for a very long time. And I got it for a very good price. This is his solo stuff from when he was a kid. Um, it's called Hello World. The Motown Solo Collection. Three CD set. I really can't wait to listen to this. It'd be awesome. Alright, next is Sister Janet. You know, Janet is really known for her first album to be Control in 1986. But that wasn't her first album. She had two albums before that. They just weren't big. This is her debut album on CD, which is hard to find. Um, subtitled Janet Jackson. I, I, I found this. I was really shocked. This is her, her first two albums are very hard to find on CD. And they're not ever included in any compilation of hers. They just weren't that big. So this is Janet Jackson. Uh, it sounds like really pop-ish and disco-ish. Post-disco. You know. <laughs> okay, what am I going to show next? I guess I'll show these. I have one, two, three new Johnny Maffa CDs. Um, I've been trying to collect his, his stuff. I, I don't know, man. I probably won't get that CD box as bad as I want it. I'm just going to try to get the individual CDs. Um, Real, Real Gone Music does this stuff. And this place used to do it too. Funky, funky Town Grooves. Um, but this is the reissue of his album. What is it? Oh, The Best Days of My Life from 79. I think. Good stuff. This is, I think, from 1984. Special part of me. This actually contains a song, Love Never Felt So Good, which was a hit from Michael in 2014. Um, but he, Johnny Mathis did it first. You know, Michael wrote it. And Paul Anka. So, really cool. Johnny Mathis is a special part of me. And here's Johnny Mathis from 1990 in a sentimental mood. Mathis sings Duke Ellington. So, cool to have. I just love Johnny Mathis. I know a lot of people don't care about him, but I just love that guy. He's a great voice. I bought this. I thought it was the greatest hits. Um, but it's not. It's, but it's called Tony Bennett, the classics. It has a select greatest hits and then duets. But yeah. So Tony Bennett. I like to get these type of collections. They usually have good stuff. This is the essential Boz Skaggs. I like to I like to give people a try. I never really listen to his stuff, so we'll see how it goes. All right, this next stuff is kind of George Michaelish. Well, except for this one, this is a Elton John tribute album called Two Song Two Rooms, celebrating the songs of Elton John and Bernie Something. The guy who wrote all the songs with Elton, Elton John. Um, the reason why I bought this is because it's different artists doing his stuff, Elton's stuff. And the very last track is George Michael doing the song Tonight. Um, I think it's live. So that's the reason why I bought this. But then I have some George Michael and Wham stuff. I have this album. I'm very glad to have. Got it for a good price. George Michael, the Symphonica. It's like stuff with orchestra. Some of his hits. Pretty cool. This is really the last release of his life. So, but it's good. His voice was good to the very end, you know. And I have two Wham! Greatest Hits collections. I bought them for different reasons. Um, first, I have this. This is an. They're both imports, actually. This is Wham! The Final. Um, this contains a CD and DVD of the original Greatest Hits. DVD of all their videos. Pretty cool. There you go. And then you have the Best of Wham! This came out in 97. I bought it for the last two bonus tracks at the end. It's a remix of 
Everything I Everything She Wants, 97, and I'm Your Man, 96. And those are my two favorite Wham songs, actually, too. Love those songs. So, Wham. All right. Next is... I may or may not keep this. Um, this is Aretha Franklin, 30 Greatest Hits. It does have a lot of good hits on it, though. But I may or may not keep it. This is an older Greatest Hits from the 80s. Okay, this is the greatest hits of Maze Freak featuring Frankie Beverly. This is good stuff, man. Good R&B stuff right here, man. Love that stuff. She's beautiful. She has a really unique, good voice. Tony Braskin. Braxton. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ultimate. It's the greatest hits of hers. So, I remember my mom loved her. Alright. And then, the last of the CDs... This is Coldplay, their 2011 album, Milo X something. It contains a hit Paradise and Princess of China with Rihanna. Good, good album. I've always been a fan of theirs, Coldplay. Here's another Essentials Collection. This is Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. Great guitar player. I never knew there was a volume two to this, but this is CCR uh, Chronicles volume two. Volume one's really the one that everyone gets, and this one was okay. It, has, it seems like it has more covers than anything, but yeah, this is volume two of it. Never knew there was a volume two. All right, don't judge me. The essential Barry Manilow. You know, I got it for super cheap. I thought it was cool to have two disc hit, two disc greatest hits of his. Have all this stuff. Um, this is one of my favorite albums of the 80s. I can listen to it over and over again. This is the original CD pressing of it. Um, Donald Fagan, The Nightfly. I love this album. If you have not listened to it, I advise you to. Great album. Great, great album. And, uh, this is actually a very hard greatest hits to find. And I found it. It's really, it went out, it was out of print. Um, Elvis Costello. The thing about Elvis Costello is, I just want to say... His music's good. I just can't do his voice. It's very kind of whiny in a way. But his music is very ahead of his time. It's not dated. Um, so yeah, the very best of Elvis Costello. But this, to me, there's only really one Elvis. You know that is. But yeah. But just music is good. His voice, eh. Not so much. All right. So that is all my CDs I have. So now I'm going to show the little stack of vinyl I have. Um... It's not much. This is going to be quick. Have three, six albums. So, first one is a Prince Affiliated artist. And this is a solo debut of Morris Day, Color of Success with the hype sticker. Still in the shrink. Pretty cool. Advertising the single, The Oak Tree. Let me, let me do this. There you go. Oh, this is my wife. I love her music. I can listen to her all day. Um, this is Sade or Sade. I say Sade. Some people say it's Sade, whatever. This is her debut album, uh, Diamond Life, you know. Has uh, Hang On To Your Love. Smooth Operator, Your Love Is King. Love that song. Still in the shrink. Plays beautifully, man. Awesome. I love her, too. I can listen to her all day, too. This is... Uh, Self-titled album of her from 78. Here's Roberta Flack. Love her music, too. Good stuff. I was. This is the one I'm most excited about. Um, I know it's not a big deal, probably to a lot of other people. But this is the very last Johnny Mathis album I needed. And I got it. And I found it. Um, this is Johnny Mathis. Love is everything. This is one of his albums from his short... Um, stint he had at Mercury Records before he went back to Columbia and he's been back to Columbia ever since. But this is Love Is Everything. This is the last album I needed. I got it. I love his voice. Very unique voice. Maybe one day I'll just reshow my Johnny Mathis collection because I have all this stuff now. So maybe I'll do that. Okay? So look, maybe look out for that in the future. But yeah. Love Is Everything. Johnny Mathis. Alright, I never owned this album. Um, glad I have it. It's in Stone the Shrink. Billy Joel Turnstiles. Um, this contains one of my favorite Billy Joel songs. It has um, Miami 2017. 
Yeah, seen the lights go out on Broadway. Love that song. It's like about the apocalypse of New York. Pretty cool. Love this album. This is kind of late. Um, I forgot to show this one of my last and my greatest finds. This is from Black Friday Record Store Day. Um, this is the only release I wanted because my my friend was going. This is the only release I wanted. And I wasn't just going to go for one release. So he got it for me. This is Outkast. The 12th and single 20th anniversary edition of Rosa Parks. So this is like my favorite rap man. Okay. But you know what? That's it for my latest finds. So look up. Look out for uh, my Elvis finds. Um, that's probably going to be a pretty long one. Because I'm going to talk about a couple things. So you know how I like to gloat on stuff and tell stories. So yeah. So thank you for watching my latest finds. And I will see you guys very soon. So see you later. Bye.